when the action begins. Dana in the black, Sierra Buxton in the white. Third man in the cage. First man, actually, only man in the cage. Referee Ready. Rob Mooney. Right. If what we know from Sierra Buxton holds true, she's going to put on a dominant pace. Here she goes. Both girls, hey, they're not filling each other out. They're going. This is exactly what I knew it was going to be. Punches and bunches early yep. for Sierra Buxton. Nice body kick by Sierra. This is exactly how she started off last time. One, two, one, two. She went with the body kick. Oh, nice jab. That got Dana's attention. And Andy, it's, just, it's truly a horrible feeling to to lose by way of death by a thousand cuts. When your body oh, just nice two. They're both cracking each other. They're Look. This is where Dana thought that she could have more of the advantages right here on the ground, and she's in a good place. She is here at Buxton. You know, she's got underhook on the left side. Needs to use it to work to reclaim guard right or stand up. She's not even trying to strip her hips or anything. She's just kind of, you know, solidified right here in the half guard. Recover your guard. Or frame off and get underhook with your right arm and start coming up with it. Yep, she needs the underhook on the right side. And there it is. She gets yeah. it. James Gray calls for it. She gets it. Got to be where the right elbows. Of Dana Kalis. Yep. Dana's doing a really good job of applying pressure to the with her right elbow on Sarah's chin, or Sierra's chin, making her uncomfortable. Nice elbow right there by Dana. Strong ground attack from Dana early in this fight. Sierra Buxton, feet on the hips, trying to stand up. She's definitely trying to improve her position. She's, there she goes. Good Both job. Are. That's a win. That That's is a, a victory. Win. That's a victory for Sierra Buxton. Look at Dana, man. She's ruthless in there. Sierra's controlling the arm. Feet on the hips. Her off. Trying to stand up. Sierra Buck, excuse me, Dana Kelly is all over. No space. She knows she, she does not want to stand up and allow Sierra Buxton to put that pace on. She felt Sierra's power. That one jab really got her attention. I saw it in her eyes. But she did a really good job. Changed levels, got it to the ground. And she's working. She, I mean, she's really working on Sierra. Sierra's trying to everything she, she can do to improve her position. She needs to go back and get that underhook again and do exactly what she did to retain guard last time. And she was doing good, Hacker. She was kicking off the hips. She just couldn't get up in time. Dana was like a damn magnet on her. Just all over. Oh, all over. No space. Ten seconds remaining here in the first round. Dana Kalis trying to stay on top. Sierra Buxton working over for a Kimura trap. Dana's doing a good job tucking that arm in on her chest. So look, that's a confidence builder for Dana right there. She took Sierra down and controlled her. But I'm going to tell you, she needs to do it again because Sierra started catching her up, you know, standing. So, and she's got some dynamite in her hands too, man. All right, let's go to James Gray, hear what he's telling this fighter. Deep breaths, deep breaths. Listen to me. She's gonna just try to wrestle you because she saw what happened, right? So what I need you to do is focus on your boxing. Don't kick a lot. If you can't kick real low on the cap, but she wants to rush you for a takedown, right? Right hand is going to be your weapon because you hit her right down the center line. She doesn't move ahead. Poke with the left and left hook. Use the right hand hard, okay? If she takes a desperate shot, you'll stop it. Up on your feet. So seconds out, second round on the way. And I, James Gray telling Sierra Bucks and he wants her to box, not kick. Yep, because the, there she goes. She got the body lock, looking for the takedown. Sierra did a really good job. She's got to get that underhook. She's got to she's got to start pummeling in for the underhook. James Gray telling Sierra Bucks in wide legs. She needs to try to pummel in on that left side there and get that underhook. She's doing a good job. She's stuffing the head of Dana. 
It's making it hard for Dana to get it down. Now Dana's looking to trap that left ankle. She's doing a really good job by keeping Dana's head all the way down. Dana She's almost out. It has to work very hard for this takedown. Now, uh, hands she's got, a lot. Yep, the hands are locked. Can she get it back? There she good goes. Good ball from Sierra Buxton. Sierra needs to cycle out. She needs to get away if she can. She needs to push her head down and rotate out on that side. Hey, you're fine, but drive her head down. James is telling her, you're fine, drive her head down. Got to get off the wall if you're Sierra Buxton. Even if there's no takedown security, you're losing the round right here. Yes, she is losing the round due to control. Wait, stay up tall, feel your balance, feel your balance, drive your weight down. Dana Kayla's doing a great job just staying on her on this takedown. She is. Holding Sierra on the cage here. You Sierra has right inside of her. Good job by Sierra. You know, immediately striking. Yeah, yes, she is. Both of these girls are dang. That's the second time she almost hit that head kick. If she was set it up, it could be there. Dana's a dog, man. She's so good. Both of these girls are warm. Yes. Yeah, Dana, my goodness. Oh, man. Overhand right lands for Dana. Straight shots, girl. Work for you. One, two. James wants straight shots out of Sierra. That was a nice counter cross by Dana. That, that right kick comes, just throw the right hand straight down the pipe. Oh, oh man, spit that, flying everywhere. Yeah. Sierra, I need the right hand off. Yes, yeah, so that's what Sierra's got to do, man. She needs to start pulling that jab, hitting that jab, and hit, throw that cross right down the middle. Oh, oh she's got Sierra. Oh, 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 she's got Oh, she's got Sierra. Oh, she's got Sierra. Oh, she's got Sierra. Oh, she's got She's got to keep turning to get off that cage. Yeah. Dana does a really good job of control around the cage. She needs to get off. Short time remaining in the second round. Dana breaks. Sierra walks forwards. And Dana's throwing big shots now. This is a war. Man. Sierra's walking down there. Dana Dana She's got to do it again. She's got to circle back out. She's got the underhook. She needs to jack that underhook up on that left side. She needs to jack it up and rotate towards that left side. Good job. Oh, she almost had it. Good job by Dana to re regain control. And both girls trading shots there to the body in this clinch. Oh, oh that left. was accidental. Yeah. Good job. An accidental left hand. This crowd's going crazy man, for these girls, man. This crowd needs to stand up. My this is huge. Gosh. What a war. Back and forth action between Sierra Buxton. Dana Kayla's here, B2 Fighting Series 154, man. Man, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, I'm impressed. Watch this right here. Tit for tat, I mean, that's how you commentate that. She rocked her right there with that two. One thing that I've noticed that Sierra's doing very well, she's finally starting to figure out to get that underhook and circle out. She's, and, and really, head positioning, she's really getting Dana's head down, or Dana can't do nothing. You can't control your head, you can't control your body. But the one thing that I will say is Dana's head positioning when she's being offensive is very good, Alex Hager. Probably one-to-one -one heading into the third round, Andy. I would say one-to-one. -one. Anybody's sure. fight here. Yes. Sierra busting up off the stool, bouncing around. Dana Kayla smiling over there in the B2 Digital Blue Corner. This has been a war. We Man. called this one. Keep yep. your eye on it. Every time you see a female fight, you, you always say it's going to be a war. Oh, Plus man. Walk the down. Come on, uh, she could have messed up there. She should have never thrown that strike. She's got the body line. She's about to get it on the ground. Good job by Sierra. Buxton reclaims right hand under hook. She just needs it to get off the cage. James Ray's telling her to do that now. And you have to be prepared if you're Sierra Buxton to, to turn even after your first turn because Dana is not conceding these positions. No, she's not. She's got the body lock, but she had it. She's trying to push off. Good job. She needs to set her shots up. There she goes. Dana, little level change. She's got the underhook on the right side. That's exactly what she needs to do. Good job by Sierra. Oh, oh Dana! Sierra eats it. She walks through it. Dana's wisely clinches. She doesn't want to stand right in front of Sierra Buxton. Anybody's fight still. She's still trying to change levels. She's relentless. It all depends on how the judge is going to score that. If they're looking that Dana's got control, then when she's there, oh, she almost had the takedown there. She almost sucked them hips out off the cage. A takedown for Dana Kalis might secure the victory for her in this fight. This is close. I feel like Sierra needs to do exactly what she's been doing, get that underhook and circle back out. 
James Gray over there, right in the BT Digital blue, excuse me, one more jump, red corner, telling his fighter, stay on your feet. He knows it's anybody's fight still. Oh, there she goes, good sprawl. Good sprawl. Sierra Bush is going to town with the right yes, hand. Yes, she is. A oh, there she goes. Oh, Bruce, is she fading? She's fighting the yeah. single. Then he's fading. Oh, the take down the test. Man, it just drains your cardio. It drains everything out of you. Ground and pound for Sierra Buston. Just going to town with the hands. How much more can Dana Kalis take? But she needs it. I would, I would stand it up. I would stand it up. I would back out and stand it up. There she goes. She and ran Sierra it over. Oh, she's got the Sierra Bush is going to town with the ground. She's high, though. Kayla's trying to stay alive. She's high on the back. Kayla's doing everything she can to improve her position. She's not content here. Bush is high. Kayla's going to come out. She's going to get the, yep, she's going to get the takedown. Kayla's reverses the position. Now she's on the back of Bush. Sierra's going to stay straight up. Good job by Dana. 30 seconds remaining. Still anybody's fight. Now Kayla's is in mouth. Man. What transitions right here. This is a beautiful job by both ladies. Still anybody's fight at this moment, guys. See, there's the, these are trying to kick off the cage or something. Show something that she's trying to get out of that. The bridge is not going to work. That close up against the cage. The head's trapped. Dana's throwing down hard. Rob Mooney's looking in close. It looks like he's going to stop the round, though. This is going to go to a decision. And that does it. Man, what a hell of a fight. We're going to be waiting on this scorecard for a while, guys. Yeah, we will. What a fight. What a fight. Golly. Sierra Buxton, Dana Kayla's early contender for fight of the night. I mean, these girls are warriors. <laughs> Sierra Buxton <laughs> jumps right up and puts her hands up. These girls are so badass. You know what's so cool about that, Alice Hacker, is that she was so dominant the first time we saw her. And to have to be in your second amateur fight, to come in and fight a war like a competitor like Dana, Man, you're already experiencing every damn thing in your second fight. 18 years old, by the way. 18 years old. My goodness. Man. The war. James Gray right there at the end of the third round jumps up and says, we got that round. We got that round. He knows that it was close. Man, what a war. I believe you got round two. I mean, look, man, you can't argue with him. But no. it, to me, it could be anybody's fight. You know how these judges are. I don't know. Both of these girls came out and performed. Tremendous, I mean, man, these girls are amazing. I knew this was going to be a good fight. I didn't realize how good of a technical fight it was going to be up against the cage. My gosh, man. We should expect nothing less. Scorpion fighting True. systems. Jackson you know, Wink. Jackson Wink. Sierra Bucks and Dana Kalis. These girls left it all on the line here tonight. My goodness. A war. Look at these girls' faces. I mean, badges of honor for both of them. These girls are bad. Uh, Sierra Bucks are putting her hands up. Dana Kayla's trying to convince the judges. Does that, do you think that has anything to do with the judge's decision, Andy, with the girl that jumps up and uh, raises her hands and I, screams? I think it all depends on the judge. Personally, you know, to be honest with you, I think some judges buy into that. I think some judges buy into what James Gray did, running up in the cage. Oh, we got that round. I've seen it. I've seen it at, at refing when, you know, they want you to stop the fight, but you shouldn't stop the fight. People do get, what word am I looking for? influenced by stuff like that. They really do. I've seen it. So I don't know, man. I'm glad I'm not a judge tonight on this particular fight, to be honest with you. Both of these girls, tit for tat, cardio. The only factor that I've seen is all the takedown attempts that Dana had with about a minute and 45 seconds left. Sierra almost finished her. So do you judge the fight the last 30 seconds of the third round, or do you, you judge the fight by the whole entirety of the third round? If, if that's the case, then I would do 29-28 Sierra. I would tend to agree, but you know we're going to see what these judges score. Yes. It, 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 I have a feeling this one's going to be all over the place. You might see 29-28 for Buxton and 30-27 for Kayla's Madden. Split decision. There, that's what I'm saying. It's definitely yeah, a split decision. Yeah, I, I, would, sure. I would certainly say so. I, I'm not sure how you could anticipate anything else. And you know that for both of these girls right now, this is one of the worst feelings in the world, man. <laughs> when you've been in a just a battle that's been that tight, they both think they won the fight, but you just don't know. You're in there, you know, you're waiting to hear for sure. You're not going to be comfortable until you hear it from the man, Lance Green himself. He is here with the cards. Let's go to Lance Green now for the official decision.
B2 Fighting Series fans, after three rounds, this decision has gone to your judges' scorecards. Your first judge, Brandon Gallo, has scored this 29 28. Buxton. Your second judge has scored this 29 28. Kalis. And your final judge, Tim Steckel, has scored this 29 28 for your winner by split decision out of the red corner, Sierra the Sniper Buckstar. So Sierra the Sniper Buxton stays undefeated and moves to 2 0 in a tightly contested split decision victory over Dana Kalis. I don't know if, if, if there's a better word for, for that fight than highly contested. I mean, a game of inches, Andy. Man, yeah, it could have went either way, and, and I wouldn't have said anything about it, to be honest with you. I thought that she did exactly what I said. She, she won. Even though she faded in the end of the third round, she was winning the majority of the third and almost had her finish. Great job by the judges. Great fight by Dana. I can't wait to have her back.